Hey everybody, I am going to do um, a pour on this 18 by 18 MDF wood. And I'm going to do a few um, little, trying to get you in here. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, flip and drags, but more than one of them. And the colors I pick, there's a chance that it could look disastrous. I'm not really sure. Um, and looking at them, I may end up changing some out. No, I'm just, I'm going to go with it and I'm going to see what happens. Um, actually though, wait, maybe, no, nope. we're just going to see because I've got Windsor Newton Vermilion, uh, turquoise green with iridescent medium. Um, Blick Fluorescent Blue, Raw Umber and White, uh, Liquitex Basic Alizarin, and Artist Loft Deep Yellow. So I've got, I'm just going to give them a quick shake shake. And the only one with silicone is this one. So one, just one color has silicone. And they were all mixed with Floetrol and water. Same as the white paint I'll be using for my negative space which is white house paint, you know, paint primer in one, just mixed with, again, water and Floetrol. And so I think I will first do these three in a flip and drag in some manner and then um, go back in with these. So we shall see. <laughs> it, I, I really don't know what it will look like. Um, I'm going to put some gloves on. They may actually separate those into, I mean, this is a tiny flip cup for this size painting. This is only one ounce. So, but I think I'm going to separate these colors with white, which will also add an interesting effect because I don't generally put white in my flip cups. my white paint. I just keep it in a gallon jug. But it is mixed. Oh, I should wipe my hands. I look like I've been doing surgery with that vermilion. So this is, if you haven't seen other videos of mine, in other videos I do go into much more detail about how I mix the paints. Um, I also have paint mixing videos. You can search my playlist for those. Um, and this MDF that I've been using, the shop teacher at school, has been cutting them for me. Um, he's been doing rounds and squares and rectangles. And I have a feeling I've got. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have him do. A series of really just messed up shapes. Maybe. Just to get y'all talking. Watch, those will be those will be my legacy. <laughs> so I mix up new white and this is much better. There are so many less chunks. The problem 
is that they all start out good and then I mix it in this big batch and sometimes by the end um, I've got little paint boogers. I have taped the back of this and the edges on here are um, routed. I just want to say mitered. I think it's routed. I'm just going to be confused for some reason. Paint dries really fast on this MDF, even though I prime it. off a little bit more on this rear side. I'm going to torch the air bubbles out of it. Look at all that color. That was, and I didn't even fill this up all the way. So that was less than an ounce of paint. And probably an eighth of a drop of silicone. This is why you don't need to add silicone to every color. Because that is often just way too much. And then you'll end up with like a greasy mess. And I'm not really even sure how much I like this. Like, I kind of think I'm actually going to take this part off. Right now I'm thinking, and I have to be quiet to think. Sure. This is 
really much darker than I had anticipated. Thinking, thinking. Kind of wondering what a swipe would look like. This may suck. Totally does suck. It's bad, it's really bad. This little part's pretty cool. Yeah, it's ugly. It's ugly, ugly, ugly. So, let's just scrape most of that off. I don't care if I don't get most of it off because that'll just be part of the new painting. a piece of crud and for the rest of this I'm actually just going to scoop up some paint there is plenty in my tray Alright, so let's try this. 
this again. Let's see what she grabs. Put some white paint in here. And then we're gonna put the lid on my white paint. And look, I already have pretty little tendrils. So I'm not going to use the blue or the vermilion. I, whoops, I think I'm, and I'm not going to add more of the silicone, but I'm going to use that same flip cup. Well, I can't even get the lid on the silicone. Or on the paint the silicone. Yeah, I'm not. I'm actually not going to do that. Well, I am, but I'm going to uh, wipe it out. But there is still silicone on in the paint because I did not wipe off the canvas. So there's still silicone on here, and that should be enough to create. What I want, which I'm not sure what I want, but all right, so I'm gonna stick with yellow. I'm gonna use yellow, but I don't want the alizarin. I'm gonna use orange and um, Liquitex Basics Magenta. And I did add, uh, I thickened this cerulean blue with some iridescent medium because that was what was causing me some troubles when the mallet smashed the other day. So I thickened it with some of this iridescent medium. And so I'm going to make a flip cut now. So there is no silicone, so remember that. Okay, so there's a pop to try and break the seal. Let's just see where it goes. Let's keep tilting it to get more paint out. that. I don't think I like that part. I think I'm at going to And what I'm going to do is starting a new flip cup and I'm going to put some orange, pink, and some white, and a touch of blue. And a lot more white. I'm going to start that this corner. And 
Whoa! <laughs> or I'll just do that. going to tilt, see where it takes me. I really don't know with this one. Parts of it I can really like already. This one's fun to watch. Well, at least for me. <laughs> this is a huge air bubble. <laughs> in the colors. going to pick up some paint from the tray and now that part's all better. This is how I've been seeing it. Oh, look, that has tons of silicone in it. That little part that I picked up. It's starting to sell over here. Yeah, I'm taking my gloves off because they are really soggy at this point. Um, so I'm loving, like, it's just pretty cool. I have another one that this reminds me of.
interesting. Not at all what I was initially going for. It's like a real bright bit of orange right here, I like. Oh, you can see, there's like a cell going on up there. I have a feeling there are going to be lots of odd cells popping up here and there on this one due to the fact um, that I didn't clean it after. Alrighty. Yeah, this reminds me of video, uh, oh, I think it's 20, maybe? I'm not sure. The end result, not the, not the whole pour. This is pretty different. Like the little bits of the dark color that show through. And I have a feeling I'm going to have more little wispy areas on the side, like up there at the upper left, popping up. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and click like, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.